climbing to me is community, it's a passion, it's something that's worth fighting for. I don't know what I'd do without rock climbing. March 29th, 2017. I was route setting it and I thought I had my three points of contact on and I took off two and the other point of contact was not there. So I fell 40 feet and my L1 vertebrae exploded and sent a big piece of bone into my spinal cord. And I broke my wrist. I woke up and was paralyzed from the waist down. For an entire year, I wasn't allowed to climb or pull more than 30 pounds. This is Brittany being amazing. <laughs> I was scared the eight years prior to that. All of the climbing that I did, all of the training that I did, all of the practices that I've been through was gonna be for nothing. So I registered for the climbing team before I was ever even allowed to rock climb because I wanted I wanted that goal like I wanted something to push me and a few days before my anniversary I got cleared to rock climb that night I was I rock climbed I was tired of waiting and I trained as much as I could for the two months leading up to adaptive nationals I just went to nationals with the intention of just going and climbing and seeing what it was like and I flashed the first route and then I got in my head and fell on everything. When the scores went up I didn't even go and look and somebody came back by and was like you're third place technically so you get to go to Worlds. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> by the time that Worlds came around I've only been back climbing five months. After it was over I was like super happy and smiley. Yeah, at the back of my mind, like I was still hoping to be in finals, but I felt like whatever happened, I did good enough. I instantly had so much more motivation to come back next season and earn my spot into finals. That's just how I am. I shoot for the stars. <laughs>